Last time on Chaos Maelstrom's time Let's Play. Let's play number. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Go. Tamamo. Tamamo. Nation. Beware. Let's play number thirteen. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Flailed wildly. <laughs> Flailed wildly! That brings back bad memories. <laughs> What's the name of a, of a Pokemon movie? Beware, let's play number 13. We haven't played that yet! However, it's not the weirdest combination of creatures that I've ever seen before. Beware, let's play number 13. 13. While on the surface a seemingly harmless number, history has led much of the world to view it as a symbol of disaster and bad omens to come. The belief is so powerful it even coined the term Triskaidekaphobia, which is specifically used to express fear of the number. While it has many meanings throughout history in the world, the general idea is that 13 is a number that goes hand in hand with misfortune. And when that number meets a person with an already unlucky life, calamity is certain to ensue. Apparently someone isn't very happy about being eaten. Well, then again, I don't think many people would be. But then again, there are people out there with weird fetishes that can prove me wrong. Ugh, beware let's play number 13. Unless you're in, unless you have a war fetish, I suggest you stay away from this. Like another game. Beware let's play number 13. Oh, Iron Maiden. You're not the scariest side maiden, Iron Maiden I've ever seen in a game. Beware let's play number 13. Okay. Enter Sean Ether, more commonly known as Chaos Maelstrom. He has been creating Let's Plays on YouTube for over three years. Even after a decade of being on YouTube, he still has under 100 subscribers, and is fortunate enough if his LP videos end up getting even a single view. This may be due to Sean's miserable luck, which he has been battling with his whole life. Aside from always being pushed aside in favor of other people in any situation, and constantly being accosted by RNG chants, Sean's luck generally never leaves the average level, and is seen being above average just about never. Shala's pendant was made from some red rock as the mammon machine, when she chanced the pendant clone. Uh, Chrono, we're not supposed to be making out with snake ladies until Let's Play 13, so, uh, well, enough about me and my fetishes. Don't worry, we'll get to talk about that later in a future game a lot. Beware Let's Play number 13. For well over a year. Sean has constantly dropped the phrase, Beware Let's Play number 13, in videos and social media posts alike. Sean always knew his luck was terrible, and that a certain game would find him when the time comes no matter what he could do. And as invisible forces would have it, the designated time to deal with this eventuality would come on the day his 13th main LP would happen. And that task he has been burdened with begins today. With no way to run or hide, today, Sean bravely confronts his greatest challenge yet. What the hell have I gotten myself into? <clears throat> Hi everyone, Chaos Maelstrom here. Well, as you can tell by the title of this video and the ominous introduction there, I'm getting into something way over my head. At last, the day has come for me to face off with the dreaded Let's Play number 13. Now, while a lot of you are probably screaming at me to just go ahead and scream out the title of the game I've been keeping hidden away from you for so long, I just have a few more things to say before I go marching to my inevitable doom. I've been building this game up for a long time. Quite a long time. And honestly, I feel it will be difficult to share with you all. Of course, that doesn't mean it's impossible. The biggest roadblock I'll have to address is that this game will be a bit of a challenge to show you all because, well, it's only meant for adults. There is a lot of content in this game that is completely out of the question in levels of appropriateness for any viewers under the age of 18. Not only for the obvious reasons you would get out of an adult game, but also because some of the content is disturbing enough to give you nightmares, whether you're under 18 or not. 
while this hasn't stopped others from showing this game on YouTube, it's still a formidable obstacle. As such, I'm going to have to heavily edit each video in order to make it appropriate for viewing on YouTube. I'm not going to apply age restrictions to the video, because I know not everyone has a way to verify their age on here, even if they are well over 18. But I will be putting disclaimers at the beginning of each and every video of this series to deter any unsafe viewing. If anyone who shouldn't be watching one of these videos does happen to view it, well, I gave them a warning so if they are exposed to something they shouldn't see, is their purposeful wrongdoing, not mine. Now that I've addressed the biggest issue with this project, let's talk about another thing that makes it difficult for me to present this game. This is more of a difficulty because of my personal morals and not an actual issue with physically producing the project, but I've got to admit something I'm a little ashamed of. I did not buy this game. This is the one and only time I have ever done something like this, but the fact still stands that I downloaded this game without paying. This isn't necessarily because I didn't have the money to buy it, but more because I didn't want certain people to know what exactly I bought. That's clearly why I'm posting it on the internet for the entire world to see. Don't think I'm ungrateful though. If I can find a way, I'd like to donate to the creators of this game, and as a bit of penance, I guess, I'll also be trying to sell this game to you, my viewers, as I'm playing it. I'll probably just tell you to go buy the game every now and then, but I'm also going to keep most of the, ahem, main selling points of the game out of this series. If you want to see some of those main selling points, you'll have to buy the game yourself. And with that, that's about everything I want to tell you about this game. So I can no longer hide it from you all. At least, that's what I would be saying if I hadn't changed my mind at the last minute and ultimately decided that instead of my original idea, I'll be playing Scrimmy Bingus and the Crumby Spingus. Yes, originally I was planning to play a completely different game, but I changed my mind. Unlike that other game, this one will require a lot less editing and effort. Plus, who would even want to watch an LP of that game? There are so many better games I could spend my time playing for the channel, like this one. I've yet to get my hands on it though, and I'm not even sure if a physical copy of this exists, but I'm sure it would be a better fate for me than what I would have had to deal with otherwise. Unlike the other game, I don't have to show a precautionary introduction video or anything. I can just get right to it. So I'll see you guys in the near future for my next let- Hey, who turned out the light? <laughs> Whoops, having some technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Ow. Ow, my head. Oh, good! Looks like you're coming around. I'm starting to wonder if I hit you too hard. It, who's that? Where am I? I'm not even worth robbing. I barely have any money. Just don't touch any of my figmas. Or games. Or any of my possessions in general. Oh, shut up. I wasn't planning on harming you or your precious weave collection, so can it? What you're here for is something completely different. Why? I hardly have a social life, so there's nothing I could have done to prompt someone to kidnap... Wait, do I know you from somewhere? Maybe. If I recall correctly, you named the Fire-type Pokémon after me in your Pokémon Leaf Green Let's Play. Butthead? What? No, you ignorant little ingrate! Oh, forget that. The only thing that matters is that you're here right now because you tried to whip out of doing the game you originally planned on presenting for your 13th Let's Play. Oh, that. Are you upset or something? Look, I can't go back to doing that no matter what. It would ruin my image. What are you worried about? You're so obscure you don't even have an image to tarnish. The fact is, by choosing instead to play that crunchy spring roll game or whatever, you've tremendously upset me as well as many of my acquaintances. That's why you've been taken hostage. What? Getting upset over something as minuscule as that? Come back when you play Dokapon Kingdom with Azura. Well, truth still stands that we have you tied up here. 
And the only way you're going to leave is when you agree to go back to your original plan. No, no, uh, no way. No can do. Nada. Absolutely not. Forget about it. I'm not going to play that game for my channel. I've made up my mind, and there's nothing you can do to change it. Is that so? Well, to be honest, I was kind of hoping for this. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I said it before. You're not leaving until you agree to play that game. And if you refuse, I'll just have to persuade you until I get that confirmation. Persuade? What do you... <laughs> hey! Are you touching me? What the hell do you think you're doing, you psycho? What kind of person just goes up to someone and touches them there of their own free will? Are you listening? I said to stop- Hey! Don't take that off! Only I'm allowed to take that off! If you remove that- No! Stop taking that off! Stop it! You're just taking off your shoes! Stop making it sound worse than it actually is, you wuss! But you're making me very uncomfortable! No one other than me has taken off my shoes by four since I was a child! Just the very idea of it is ve <laughs> What are you doing? Stop pickling me there! What are you doing? Do you think it's a feather? Don't you know that the quality of this fluffiness puts feathers to shame? Now, stop her until you admit defeat! <laughs> no! You can't break me! No matter what happens, I will not concede! Two hours later. Okay! <laughs> Alright, so you win! I'll play the game! What a pizza just plays me! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there we go. Glad we finally reached an agreement. Right? Yes! I'll play the game! Just let me go already! Well, if anything, you lasted longer than I expected. I was going to have to start administering raspberries if you kept up with your standoff. Of course, compared to what I dealt with before, you were surprisingly submissive. Now then, you know what to do, right? Yes, I believe so. Hey everybody, one quick update about my 13th Let's Play. We're going back to my original plan, and I'm going to suffer tremendously. So, join me next time for... Damn it. How should I announce this? Well, you see, um, it's a game that... Oh, there's no easy way to say this, is there? <laughs> it's going to get raped in Monster Girl Quest!